Well, yes, it's uh, been uh, quite a wild day today. Day four of the Cotswold Walk. And boy, am I... Uh, actually, it wasn't supposed to be quite so long, but I ended up getting lost for about three hours wandering around the same town called Birdlip, which I think had to be bad luck because birds don't have lips, they have beaks. If you think about it, if you see a bird with a lip, it's probably a flying monkey. And once you start getting swarmed by flying monkeys, mm, well, so I was glad to get out of that woods because uh, aside from the Wizard of Oz witch reference, I was feeling very much like I was trapped in the Blair Witch Project, wandering around in the woods in circles and circles. Ugh. So anyway, and I, I spent the whole day traveling with uh, this uh, Danish gentleman who was staying with me, uh, or not with me, but he was staying at the same uh, farmer's place. Sorry, I'm looking in the view screen of my camera and noticing, wow, yeah, I just took a shower and just threw on some clothes and I sat down and I was going to show you this wonderful room. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, I was, um, look, I'll, I'll do both at the same time. Look at how cute this room is. Well, don't look at where my stuff sort of exploded. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically, uh, he was staying at the same farmer's house as I was yesterday, and they dropped us off at the same location. We started walking, and so we ended up walking together for the whole journey today. And we both got tragically lost for about three hours, wandering around Birdlip, circling around this, these woods. We spent most of the day in woods. And, yeah, I wanted to say, oh my god, can you believe it? I showed up at this B&B, and the owners were both really nice. And apparently I'm the only person staying in the hotel tonight. Oh, don't look at my crap. Look at this tea set that she brought me. I uh, showed up, and uh, she led me up to my room, and she explained how to use the shower, which I immediately jumped into as soon as she left to make me some tea. She made me tea, and there's a whole tea set. And she, made, and she brought me cookies. So I get to have tea and cookies. Oh my god, I'm just loving which I'm going to need because my feet feel like they need to be amputated. They're so sore right now. Well, I may be exaggerating slightly, but look at, look at this fabulous room. And actually, that curtain was pulled back earlier, but I pulled it out because I was going to take a shower when she was bringing the tea set back. But <gasps> hey, whoa, sorry about that. Look. Alarm clock. This is the first place I've stayed in England where I've been in a room with an alarm clock. <gasps> and a wardrobe. Oh, do I need another witch reference or literary witch reference in my uh, monologue here? Probably not. Let's not go into the wardrobe. Uh, yeah, so anyway, long day, lots of walking, lots of time spent in the woods, but now I'm here in this very cute little town called Painswick. And I'm across the street from some kind of building. Can't have to see around these mirrors here, but oh yes it's lovely. I took some still shots of the town earlier. And if I have it in me to go out to a pub tonight or a bistro for dinner, then I'll probably go out and do that. Maybe get some more pictures. But for now, this is where I'm staying, and I'm about to pour myself some tea and put my feet up now that I'm nice and clean and not covered in woodsiness. So, yeah, it's time for me to 